All right, so now we're going to look at the same sort of definition with a little bit of addition to it. Um, we looked at the lines previously, and those are actually still a part of this definition. So we looked at how it's being generated here, how it gets a little rearranged here, how we select the lines for the geometry here, um, and then the divide line by points. And then what we're going to look at right now is down here is it's drawing lines between points and then it creates a curve for a structural frame beam by curve and it puts it on level one and it puts a two by six on it and then <clears throat> that is actually fed into a set parameter by name which each of the structural framing members has a cross section rotation and that value is also being set by the same increment just remapped from zero to 90 and adjusted um, and there's a couple of adjustments going on with that. So I'm just going to go in here um, and I'm going to pick those lines again just to make sure I'll go pick that guy and then pick that guy and then run it and you'll see it comes in and in Dynamo you still have the lines but in Revit you have this increment and a rotational increment if we look at it from the top right we have if we just did a let's just say we did a 90 but right now it's actually starting doing the increment and rotating in an increment so we could come over <clears throat> and if we got rid of the rotation let's see where's that rotation here it is so let's just say instead of using that incremental number we come in here and let's put in a 90 and rerun it or maybe a 180 and we'll see if it'll because right now they're all flat right so if I do 180 and run it you see they all flip up vertically and so now you see that increment occurring with those guys so if I go to my 3d view you can see them all sort of incrementally running down that line and then again what I did with this as well is I just took the same increment coming from the Python code fed it into a remap from 0 to 90 um, and then got rid of that weird counter rotation for the 90 degrees um, and then that gets fed into, sorry, it gets fed into down here um, the value for the parameter name. So I would need to take this guy and put it back in the 90. And then if I run that again, you get the same thing, but you see it's now rotating. Not only is it spacing them all, but it's rotating them, you know, at an increment as well. Okay. Um, when I come back, we'll look at the adaptive component version of this guy. Um, and again, you know, this is in a family, so this is a conceptual mass family, but you can use this definition inside the project as well if you chose.